What's going on guys? Welcome to the next episode of the Crack a Pack series. Today opening up the newest Master set as of the recording of this. I believe by the time it's actually come out, Masters 25 will have been released. If not, I apologize, but uh, this set is an interesting one. It was definitely uh, one of the worst Master sets that we've seen. Um, there's still quite a number of good cards in it. Mana Drain obviously sitting at the top. Uh, it did have a huge uh, downtick in price, but it's still sitting around $75, $80. So if we can pull one of those, that's fantastic. Uh, there's also Horizon Canopy, as well as things like Aether Vial. Uh, in the Mythic slot, there's uh, the entire Praetor Cycle, which, to be honest, I'm happy with any of them. Elish Norn, as you can see, uh, is probably one of my favorite cards in the game. So hopefully we'll get something interesting. Uh, let's see what we get. Our first common, uh, Benevolent Ancestor. Uh, elusive Spellfist, Borderland Marauder, Infantry Veteran, Balustrade Spy, Greater Basilisk, Reeve Soul, Furnace Whelp, Bewilder, Blinding Mage, and our first uncommon is Rasheen Minder, Minder, excuse me, Meander. I can do this, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pristine Talisman, and Electrolyze, a favorite of mine, and the rare A Genesis Wave, so definitely not what we were hoping for, but still a really cool card. Uh, X and 3 green for a sorcery. Reveal the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of permanent cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Uh, then put all cards revealed this way that were not put onto the battlefield into your graveyard. I love this card, fun fact. Uh, I built a green-white value deck around it at one point, and I actually started streaming it really, really early on into the channel, which a few of those videos are probably still up on our YouTube, so you can check those out if you want. But a lot of fun to play with this card, though definitely not a high value card, unfortunately. Uh, we do, of course, get a foil in every pack here, and this one is Nature's Claim, which is actually a decent card for sideboard tech. Uh, one green instant destroy target artifact or enchantment and its controller gains for life so not what we were hoping to find though still a very iconic card I guess I would say uh, some people may disagree with that sorry if you do uh, but I do ha I happen to really love this card so happy to see it I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to like or comment down below uh, you can also subscribe and check out all of our other content between these, the card spotlights, and the podcast episodes, we've got a lot coming at you every single week. So make sure to stay tuned for all of that. And you can participate in things like the card spotlight just by voting in either the comment section or on any of our social media sites. Uh, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks so much for watching.